Time for 96.7 Yes FM Entertainment News. Well, if you're still broken up over this Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin split, um, I guess there's been, well, several other people that Gwyneth has been spending some QT with of late. Yeah, apparently uh, they almost, Chris Martin and Gwyneth almost called it quits last August, but decided to give it another shot for their kids' sake. Mm. As it turns out, the signs were there, and Gwyneth was spotted kissing her ex-boyfriend Donovan Leach during an L.A. Dodgers game. In broad daylight, obviously, uh, uh, right next to her kids, uh, which is ooh. pretty effed up. Uh, they also said that Chris was uh, flirting with quite a few people at a bunch of different Grammys parties. And also, uh, some people are saying that there's a Vanity Fair piece coming out, uh, which exposes Gwyneth Paltrow's affair with either a Miami billionaire or a Glee producer. Also, there's some some rumors that Chris Martin had an affair with Kate Hudson, Uh, which would explain why Gwyneth and uh, Kate had a bit of a falling out uh, some time ago. Well, and and the whole deal actually crashed the uh, website, this goop thing that Gwyneth has. All right, if you enjoyed the Fox series a while back called Joe Millionaire, we have something kind of the same deal coming up to Fox. It's it's even more deceitful, though. It's Mm. called I Want to Marry Harry, and this time a dozen American ladies are going to be competing to marry a man that they've been led to believe is Britain's Prince Harry. Yeah. In reality, the guy is an average Englishman who's just been given a royal makeover. Uh, the show comes on May 27th. That's I despicable. I don't know what's worse, the fact that these girls actually believe that this would be happening or the fact that Prince Harry would ever consider, with the Queen's blessing, to do an American reality show to find a girlfriend. Britons hate America. Want to see what you just heard? Go to the Yes FM YouTube channel and see it. This is Murs in the Morning on 96.7 Yes FM. Turn it up.